In this lesson, we'll use the visibility property of the display tag to hide a few objects before we're ready for them to be seen. We'll also be retiming a few of our animations now that our camera animation is in place. Okay, so first I want to get those animations uh, in place now that the camera animation is there. So you can see how we really don't get to appreciate these dropping down into place. We only really see the end of it. We miss all of the ones at the beginning. So I would like for those not to begin until right around here on frame 53. So what I can do is come in here to my frame uh, my number 1989 and just take note of where this begins so it's this one right here that's the earliest swing down frame that we have um, and so what I'll do is just come through and shift select all the rest of these and you can see there's actually quite a bit of overlap now if you're okay with those not all being visible um, then you may end up having them still swinging by the end. So you can see how if I move this down so that they don't swing down until this point, I can still see them, but they're still going to be moving by frame 90. So that may mean that we even want to extend the length of our comp. We'll miss out on a little bit of the follow through, but I do think that they need to wait to come on. Maybe we could have them just a little bit earlier, maybe pulling them back like this. And it looks like 1989 actually may have been taken out of that selection. It's not highlighted here or here. So we want to make sure that that is part of what we're selecting. And let's just bring it in here so that it's beginning around frame 40. So I think that will give us enough and then if we need to add a little bit more to our timeline, maybe have it be, let's try 110 frames. I'll just come in here and type that in there and there. We can see that for the most part that graph has finished. And all we have to do is just go back into our camera rig and grab that frame or that keyframe on frame 90 and pull it forward to 110. And same for our camera. Grab it, pull it forward to 110. Very good. Okay, so that's going to help quite a bit. And I am noticing a little bit of a boomerang by putting that much space in between. You can see how it kind of wobbles back and forth, which we can fix that uh, later on. We don't have to do that just yet. Also, I would like for the text, um, the survey and about global warming to come on a little bit later, maybe right in the same area um, as well. So maybe right in here around frame 60. So all I have to do is, again, select both of those, We'll grab all their keys and just pull them forward just like that. Very nice. And the thing I really like about the swing animation is that within just a few frames you can already read it, but then it continues to have some movement to it, which I think is really nice and really strong. Okay, so that's looking much better. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that this whole time we can see those dates here at the bottom. Now, some of the other ones might not be as big of a deal. These, definitely you can see a little bit too early. So we need to add some display tags and key that visibility property. So what I'm going to do is pull this over a little bit here. And let's just start with the survey one. It's at the top of the list. So with that selected, we'll go to Tags, Cinema 4D Tags, and choose Display. Then I'm going to check on the visibility property. And what I want to do is have this come on the frame before it begins to swing down. Or you could do it on the same frame. I just find that doing it the frame before allows me to control it a little bit more easily on my timeline. And it doesn't make a big difference in the way that it looks in the end. So if I go to the frame before the animation begins, I'll just control click that visibility. And then move back one more frame to frame 58. And we'll take that visibility down to zero. And then by keying that, you can see that if I scrub, that's going to pop on and swing down and make that look much, much nicer rather than having it 
just kind of hanging there the whole time. Then we can do the same thing for the about global warming. Um, and what I would recommend doing is duplicating that display tag onto the about global warming object. So I'll just control drag it down and all I have to do is move its keyframes. Now I want to make sure that I have the display tag selected as well as the about global warming and then all I have to do is select those keys and pull it forward a couple and then it's going to be in exactly the same placement in relation to the keys as the top piece of text was. Then I want to repeat this process for all the percentages so I'll just control drag down and then take this tag down to 1989 and if I select 1989 and I'm sure I have this display tag selected you can see I've got those two keys uh, with the little kind of frame dragged around them and then I can just pull them right back before that first key and then I can just continue repeating that process by control dragging it down selecting the new date and then moving the keys forward. So those, unless I change the camera movement, aren't really helping a lot, but let's try it out for, let's say, 1999. So I'll control drag down to 1999, select the year 1999, and we'll pull that forward. And so you can see how it's going to pop on and then swing down pretty much right away. So I'm going to duplicate this process for all the other dates and then we'll be able to come back in the next lesson and we'll adjust our camera a little bit in the graph editor so that we're not getting that boomerang and we'll also have all of those display tags already added between lessons.